Georgetown Ministry Center is located in the heart of Georgetown in Grace Church, which is on Wisconsin Avenue just below M Street. We're at 1041 Wisconsin Avenue Northwest. We're right, right in the alley between Verizon and, and the church. The clubhouse model is, is something that we've come to evolve to over the last couple years, although we've been thinking about it for much longer. What we like about the clubhouse model is that it treats the members with respect, respecting their individuality, nurturing who they are. Um, and it's, that's something that I think a lot of programs don't do anymore when they're working with homeless people. On a day-to-day, -day, which I don't come every day, I just come when I need, right? Uh, one of the things that helps me out is that I'm able to come here and take a shower. I sleep in the tent on the outside. Yeah, I'm homeless for what, about a couple of years now, right? And this place provide a shower, you get your clothes washed, you get something to eat from the generous people that, you know, come. Uh, social work, you know, housing and whatnot, you know. Uh, they help you with IDs, birth certificate, stuff that you need out here, credentials and stuff like that, you know. I am Stephanie Chan. I'm program coordinator at Georgetown Ministry Center. Um, so my main job is to manage the day-to-day -day operations at the center and to create programming for the guests who come in. So this includes creating workshops that are educational, such as resume writing workshops and job prep and workshops on knowing their rights on the street to sort of more fun things like a knitting group and movie screenings and birthday celebrations and things like that. And by creating programming like this, we're not, I'm not only trying to prepare them for independent living and housing um, and to give themselves back up and established, but to also help them create new friends and to create more of a community feeling in the center. When I first started working for Georgetown Ministry Center back in 1990, there were dozens of homeless people living under these bridges here. Over time, the community response to it was, let's make these bridges impossible to access by the homeless. They built these walls to keep the homeless out. But as you can see, people still get in here and they live here. Every Thursday, um, Dr. Crossland from Unity Healthcare comes and walks with us. She sees patients here and then she walks out on the street and sees patients on the street. And we do a lot of blood pressure and a lot of uh, blood sugar checks on the street. And we have found some very seriously elevated um, both blood pressure and blood sugar. We're always looking for volunteers to come in and help out in the center. Um, our volunteers are college students, young professionals. A lot of our board members also come in to sit and hang out in our center. If you are interested in volunteering and coming into our center, um, you can expect to sit down and sort of just talk to our guests there. Um, staff, we only have four full-time people on staff and we're usually running around trying to help people individually or trying to coordinate other things. So a lot of times, we as staff don't have time to actually sit down and listen to people's stories in depth. And that's one of the things that volunteers really help us out with. So my name is Diana. I've been volunteering here for over like a month. It's part of my um, conception of having fun. And it is fun here. It's a great place. People tend to have an informal approach to each other. They all know each other. We know each other. It's like a bunch of people working together and basically spending the day together. Everybody knows the name of each other. One of the things that's been huge about our, our newest evolution into the clubhouse is that there's a lot more room for volunteers. Volunteers to make sandwiches and, and bring them in. Volunteers who come in and just hang out and help members with the computers, with food, with whatever. 
or just to sit and talk with the different members and the, and the members crave contact. So if anyone's interested in donating in kind to Georgetown Ministry Center, we're always looking for washcloths, underwear and socks, whether they're used or new, as long as they're clean. Washcloths, um, the washcloths we get for the shower just walk on a daily basis. People take the shower and they just love having that washcloth and they do walk away with it, which is fine, but we need, you know, we need replacements. So if you are interested in volunteering or donating anything to us, or if you're just wondering what we do or have any questions, you can always call us at 202-338-8301, or you can look us up on the web at www.gmcgt.org. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's cool.